Okay, I'm starting to believe that burdock is, is cause, causes upset stomach. I do have a slight, very slight upset stomach. I think it's related. Burdock leaf. There was a sound that when you were in talking earlier. Yeah. About seeing them. What? I didn't, I didn't need to see anybody. Oh, or the, the kids that were downtown. Oh, yeah, I saw some kids or whatever, yeah. yeah. He was asking to talk to you. What? Hello? Well, it was about 4, 4 4.30. No, no, closer, closer, I'm sorry, closer to 5, 5 a.m. I uh, was parked in front of the library. And, well, no, 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 what time did I see the kids? I'm sorry. That's when I left. I'm sorry. The, uh, I was, uh, it was after it was nighttime. So it got dark at what, like 9.30? So it was dark at the time, so maybe like 10, 10.30. There was a lone skateboarder, and then there was two boys and two girls. And man, you listen to them, they love swearing. I'll tell you, they love cursing, these two boys and two girls. So you listen, you listen to a group like that, if they like cursing a lot, that... that uh, that would be their group. All the way up, it goes all the way up to the chief? No, I don't have a phone. Oh, well, I don't know. Is he, what, can you just pass me through to him, I guess? Um, well, he can call me. I don't, I don't feel like... Well, I don't know if the library, if the librarian agrees, I'll hand the phone over to her if she agrees to go through that process and go ahead. Okay. You know, I, I noticed I had a Lakefield number on my cell phone, but you know what I do? I'm not, I'm not attached to my phone. My study books are silent and they're silent at home, and then I pick it up and go, oh, I know this call. <laughs> I'm not, sometimes I leave my phone here by accident. I'm not. <laughs> Yeah, I just I just told her I saw the the graffiti earlier this morning, and I just are you Travis? Yeah, I just oh, okay. uh, told her that the chief would arrive. I guess yeah. Yeah, I, I saw last. I came here last night like at 8:30, and I don't know if it's legal or not to to spend the night uh, on the side of the road. I was I was over there on the other side overnight. And then in your car I yeah, then I left. Yeah, I got my car parked over by the swimming pool now. I oh, just, is I, that your Washington plates? Yeah, you guys checked it out. I, I think yeah. you guys got called because um, a cop did show up, and then he, he looked like he was talking to somebody like, you guys got called on me. But, I mean, nobody stopped at my car while I was no, there. So no, no, I didn't get any complaints. I was talking to uh, our oh. public works guys over yep. at the pool. Yep. about what had happened down here and then i saw okay. the car there and i just ran oh the you checked okay another cop showed up actually okay what's yep. your last name travis uh all right it's heinz h-e-i-n-z-e -E. and yeah there you go okay what's, and, are you homeless or yeah just traveling i came from the south okay i was in i was in marble beach you know marble beach the spirit lakes area yeah i was there all day um and then i came here in the evening time and then just kind of used the Wi-Fi and, and hung out. And then took off about 5 a.m. and went over to the, the swimming pool area. So you're in the school parking lot, Nope. Right? No, yeah. just on the side of the road. Oh, right off. Uh, yeah, you angle park. You do the 45-degree angle park on the side of the road there. Oh, okay. They got the lines. Oh, right on Main here. Yeah. Yeah, it's just right in, the, in between the lines there. So, yeah, it's, it's strange. I was, I was here and... It's just like when I got here, I did not see anything. 
And then I wake up in the morning, and as I'm driving away, I see it. It's, it's very glaring. And, and uh, yeah, I just, library opened at 11, so I came and just mentioned it to her. And I see it was taken off pretty quickly, so. Yeah, yeah and they got Tri County also, and I know the public yeah. works guys, I saw them cleaning that one off. Yeah, you got, you progress. got a little, you got a little graffiti problem. Yeah. Because there's a, there's a kid's corner park, and there's an yeah. abandoned, you know that park? Which, uh, which kid's corner? It's called, it's, it's straight down fourth and you take a left and it's very it's at the t intersection i think right at, on the west end uh, yeah it's called it's called town? kids corner park okay is that familiar i yeah because I'll i'm, a, I'm about, across from the, the flower shop, flower shop. that's yeah. the uh, west end one okay because i was about to mention there's a an abandoned house and there's graffiti on it across the street from that park Yes, I it's saw it like a YOLO. Y-O-L-O. It's Y O L O. Okay. Hashtag Y O L. Somebody graffitied that. Okay. So it's you might you might have a little problem. What's your middle name, Travis? Oh sure, it's uh, it's W William. William. Okay. And a date of birth. Date of birth too? Well. Well, just, come on. Yeah. What is well, this? Just be... give me an approximate age. I just. Okay, I'll tell you my age. Yeah, yeah, sure. Forty-five. 45 that's so good. what's that's next good. social security and no it's like all right i'll give you know as much information as reasonable yeah is so, there, so you can refer back to me or yeah, whatever is there a phone number i can get you yeah yeah i can do that 715-257-0034 okay and about you said about 8 30 8 39 this is after dark so it was when it, oh, when the sun okay. sets, I think it set maybe after nine. Yeah, it's after. So nine, it was so it was after the sun set. So probably nine thirty. And and the, yeah, it was it was two separate. I mean, this is a quiet town, and there there was two separate uh, like like vi, vi, no, um, observations. I'll call them. There's a one skateboarder kid by himself stopped here, used the internet, in front, listened to some music, took off. And then a group of kids, two like it's I think two boys and two girls, and they just they were walking by and I could hear their conversations. I'll tell you they if you listen to them they like to curse a lot, you know F and S and. Well, how and so old do you think they were? I think they're in their teens, in their mid-teens. Mid-teens, okay. Two boys, two girls, and they they ran a little bit. They they walked they, they walked by my car twice. But not in front of it. They stayed on this side of the street, walking by the library. Okay. And they didn't come near my car. Um, and I had all my windows open. Uh, yeah, I, I just got a glance of them. But I, I strongly suspect something happened uh, uh, among their group. But I mean, I didn't look. I didn't. I didn't really see. Yeah. All my only observation is hearing, and then just a quick glance at the group. See so that don't know like what color hair or about how no tall yeah that's the thing things. it's all my only my only witness uh perspective is just hearing hearing them and my takeaway was they like to curse a lot and that happened about 9 30 at night okay. or so 10 is kind of late and there's a quiet street okay. but yeah I, I mean i don't know if i'm i'm also under investigation i probably am and i have to say you know i I, I can uh, no, account. Why, why would you be? Oh, I don't know. Well, I no. mean, usually it's yeah. it's easy to, uh, when somebody says, hey, I saw this, it's easy to interrogate yeah. that person. So no. No, that's, you have, I'm a part of it. Yeah, you give me no but, reason to think that you're involved at all and being homeless isn't a crime. And Yeah, well, so. I don't, some cities um, make sleeping in your car illegal. I just, I thought maybe I'll just mention it and kind of as a way of asking, is it illegal in this town? Not to my knowledge. Okay, all right. It's you a know, small town. Yeah, it's a small okay. town, but at the same time, and, you have to understand, too, that, you know, just because you don't have a residence and you are sleeping in your car, mm -hmm. you know, that's your right. Yeah, too. well, it's not your right in every town or in every city. There's some cities uh, in Seaside, Oregon. You can't even sleep in your car during the daytime. If they catch you, it's a $700 ticket. And I got that on video of them telling me that. So it's every it's an ordinance, a city ordinance thing, and some push the constitutional issue because yeah. they can. They got that power. This town hasn't. It's, yeah. it's every well, town. I believe strongly that 
police should protect your constitutional rights. So okay. I won't yeah. even go near that. Okay. If I think All right. it's going to violate your constitutional rights, we're not going there. Okay. Uh, yep. That's understandable. Yeah. And I. Excuse me. I was listening to you. Like I told you, our Wi Fi is free. Well, so yep. you are welcome. Yeah. And not, ev not every. Not every. here at any time because we've had people that are parked here. All yeah. hours of the night using okay. the Wi-Fi. So. Yeah, and not every library ha offers it without a password. Yeah. So it's, it's very, very gen I took a chance. I yeah, just came yeah. here just to check. If you I would. We but, used to have it password protected, and it's okay. like, well, we have it for people to use. So yeah. We but that, took yeah. The pass, you know, took that password out of it so that anybody traveling through, if they needed to use, have yeah. access to, you know, because everybody uses Google Maps I, and so forth. So you are yep. welcome to use yep. it. Uh, thank you. Okay. Sounds good, Travis. So I, I only I stayed the night here last night, and I plan to take off today. I'm going I'm going west. So that ne the next city over with the Walmart. So I'm gonna. Just, oh, Fairmont. Uh, is it Fairmont? Okay. Yeah. So you know I just I'm just kind of a here and gone type of witness. <laughs> no but, problem. I, I, if so, I have a question, I have your phone number. So yeah, I'll give you a call and, um, we'll see. You know, like you said, it's a small town. Yeah, and people yep. usually know who hangs out like mm -hmm. that and at that time of day. Yeah, yeah, those 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 kids are, uh, they're in they're in a, a tight group. I wish I wish I would have I would have uh, observed them closer, but I just didn't really. It's so rare. It's yeah. kind of it's kind of rare the graffiti, things that happen behind my back type of thing. I feel a little insulted it happened, while I was right there. No, but, understood. So, um, Brad, I appreciate you letting me know. Okay. All right. And have so, a safe travel, you too. okay? Oh, and yep, West thank is going to be Worthington. <clears throat> Fairmont and oh, East. Oh, West. Oh, is it? Yeah, I forget the name. It's wherever the Walmart is west of here, wherever, yeah, whichever. Yeah, Worthington. Worthington? Okay. Yeah. So yep. you're heading back towards Washington. Well, no, I'm going north. I'm just, I'm zigzagging. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bum. I, I just, yeah. I travel with the weather. So, oh, okay. <laughs> it's, I was in Texas, you know, and it's just, yeah. you know. No problem so, with that. All right. all right. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. As I noticed in the Walmart, there is a strong Mexican presence in Worthington. Worthington, Minnesota. And they look smaller, actually. They look like tinier people. I mean, uh, when I was in the Walmart, uh, 30 20 to 30 minutes ago it's a lot of small small mexicans it's kind of an interesting group when you're a grass picker you love to see these small drainage areas next to the walmart well this one's actually big what am i saying small you love to see drainage areas it's pretty standard for walmart stores it seems yeah, there's some good pickings in there, <laughs> in between plastic bags. Okay, I just want to document that I'm primarily taking what I think to be an uh, alfalfa type of plant, and then definitely the knapweed. The knapweed has been good to me. Just got to pick with the gloves. But I, I'm, uh, I guess I'm more in question about this, this like alternative looking. Uh, alfalfa it'll just be the those two things that's all I pretty much see on this hillside this is supposed to be closed Right, do I risk getting in trouble? Because the door is open, but there are cars here too. I think they're probably watching out the window. Well, what time is it? Uh, I'll just tell them I think the hours were open. If uh, somebody comes out to give me a hard time, it doesn't look like much to look at, and usually these types of places are free to, because there's, uh, Oh, and the door's open over there too. So yeah. Oh my God, there's somebody parked 
Like, I understand that it's supposed to be open for Memorial Day, and I don't really care to go in. Wait, but there are restrooms. Okay, I was seen. They might run over to get me. <laughs> we'll see. Stop, halt. Yeah, they're unlocked. So two ladies walked in front of me inside there. Didn't really, well, they said hi, that's it. And one lady kind of reminded me of the, having the facial features of my Aunt Julie. I think I'm seeing more people who look more like me. More like me in Minnesota. And, well, somewhat maybe Wisconsin. And then I do have family in Michigan. So I might, I might uh, be finding more people that look similar to me in the region minnesota wisconsin and michigan well then you know michigan is like on the other side of the great lake though so that might not be so likely i'll see just want to pay attention actually once again in walmart there's more mexicans small mexicans and small asians from maybe from the southeast southeast asians it's interesting it's different people for sure. All right, at the lake shore. I don't know why I can't remember the city name. <clears throat> oh, this is okay. Uh, they covered half the sign. I can come out here to just have a seat. It looks flimsier from the side, but it feels okay. It feels strong enough. It's a nice cool day today. I think I want to go check out the, uh, there's an armory that the museum that was inside the library is now moving to. I'll take a left down third. I won't be able to go in, but just see this old armory, 100 years old, I guess. Oh, that's what you said before, too. He's yeah. in a classroom. What, what, elementary school, probably? Uh, yes. Just not this one here. The teacher works on it down. So. Yeah, you don't really see two-story level uh, depots. Two stories extra tall. And you could say unusually tall because for a city, for a town this size, it's not really necessary. Looks like it's a bit of a museum, mm, sort of. They got a lot on display, so I guess this green building is a part of the dis display since they got things out in front. The red caboose might have stuff in it. King of the Tramps left his mark here. Tech KT. So this was, they put a plexiglass over so you could see a display complete with a hornet's nest. Huh. I guess you probably can't go inside this building. Old cemetery stone, 18, 1826 to 1897. I got a few things on display here. I didn't quite expect to see. 
Right, and looking through this window, you can kind of see. I got a little bit of a display here in the caboose. Like the caboose is a passenger train in some way. Maybe it's for just workers. Is this a name or a title on Signer Heating for the school? They have Monsignors. Well, I'm thinking that I'd like to sleep down here downtown in uh, the angle parking slots. But wow, it's so quiet. I'll really stand out. The only uh, sign is against bicycles on the sidewalk. Oh, nope, I guess I'm not parking here. Gonna need to find a side street. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm just not sure where to park. I'm not too thrilled about all the spots I've seen. Especially with that 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. morning. I guess they've had problems in the past. Okay. Yeah, I'm being checked out. I didn't leave quick enough. I just, uh, hey, you see my hands? Yeah, you're good. Yeah, yeah, relax. yeah. I just, I just sitting here hanging out. Oh, okay. That's it. Just, I was gonna leave soon. I mean, I just, I, I don't know what. What are your? You have a curfew or something? Because I didn't uh, see any signs or whatever. I don't even know the name of this park, honestly. I just kind of stopped out here and hung out. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm about to leave, but uh, I guess now that you're here, you can explain what the uh, the hours are or whatever. Well, I'm just checking on you, make sure you don't need anything from us. No, I'm okay. good. You got a YouTube channel? Are you, are you, oh yeah, it, it's not really, what it's kind of, it's kind of covered up though, so it's. Okay, daily. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a little driving deal. You see, I got Washington plates, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just, just uh, drove over here. Because, uh, I mean, uh, on Google Maps, it looked relaxed. And I've been here, well, a good part of the day, and sure. it has been relaxed. I mean, Are you filming me right now? Yeah, of course. Okay. I just, I don't know what to expect, you know. Okay. Just uh, covering my basis. You know, documenting, I guess sure. you could okay. call it. Well, but, where are you uh, off the Daily Roam next? Well, I, just, I was going to go to the, the gas station. Is there, is there a Casey's? Yeah, there's a Casey's. That, no, that's a ga Casey's gas station? Yep. Okay, because on the Google Maps it said like there there's takeout, and it's like a open dirt plot. How long have you worked here? It uh, forever. I mean, okay, you've been here for what's your name? Christensen. Christensen. Okay, because it's a dirt plot on Google Maps. No, it's it, not a dirt plot. There's no, a it's it's there. a get yeah, and but I mean it it looks like it's new, you know. Is What's your question? Like, I mean, is yeah, Casey's new? It's new if like in the past, in, in the past year, has a Casey was Casey's built in the past year? Do you need anything from us, or are you? Good? No, no. Oh, you don't want to answer that. We, no, we don't. Just, no, we don't. I don't mean to hold you up. If if that's the problem, I'm, fi I'm fine. I'm fine. If, if and, you're uh, fine and you don't need any law enforcement assistance for no, any reason, no, you're no. free to go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel it's... like I don't. I don't know. I don't know what you mean about a Casey's dirt plot. No, no, no. I'm talking about the Casey's gas station. Yeah. Is it new in the past year? Because I would say it was probably a year and a half, two. Okay. Years ago. Yeah. It's still like when you look, Google Maps. Look down 
Yeah, if a you picture don't need view. To go to a Casey's, there's plenty other. Gas no, I, was, I just said, okay. Okay. Uh, do you need I, a Casey's for some specific reason? Why? Well, yeah, you know I, how to we, get there? We. Yeah, I, I can find it, but okay. The reason I'm saying Casey's is because they usually have Wi-Fi. That's. Oh, okay. That's yeah, that's no, my. I'm sure they have probably have Wi-Fi. That's my that's my specific reason. All right. I mean Napa or whatever those tend not to have it. So. I mean, that's, well, you're free I to guess, go, man. I'll, I'll let yeah. you go. You're not holding me up at all, but what, oh. if you got stuff to do, that's just fine. I'm just Are you are you a sh uh, deputy or a... Nope, I'm a state patrolman. State patrol? Yep. It, uh, are there, is there, there... I saw the police station. Is there, are there, is there a police force in yep, this city? Yep, there's a city municipal I, police department. Okay, I see why you're taking this different approach with me. All right. You're a little... What do you mean? You're, you just, you're a little different because you got a different perspective on how you're, how you do law enforcement. You're not... I'm not trying to do law enforcement. I'm just asking if you need any assistance. No, I'm fine. Us. You're not. You're not a deputy. Nope. You're, you're not police for the city. You're a state trooper, right? That's what it says on your the side of your car. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's a little different. All and right, you guys man. patrol in the city, huh? We you patrol don't, anywhere you don't... in the state. We're not the highway patrol or the state patrol. So. Yeah. Well, they, they, there's focuses, though. I mean, you know, there's there's certain they overlap, but I mean, there's certain focuses. Sure. Your jurisdictions, sure. are, you know, a little. You know, oh, it's it's works different, but uh, interesting. Okay, okay. Well, you come you come to the park and you're just doing the city patrol in the city, checking it all. Yep, doing a lap. So. Okay, all right. All right, man. You have a good night. Okay. You, yep. You too, Thank Christensen. You. <clears throat> Oh, it does say State Patrol. Huh. Interesting. All right, I'm dumping the weeder top. I gotta get rid of those nuts and bolts too. I got rid of the bottom a couple months ago, I think. And I just, I'm thinking I don't think I could find a use for this thing because I thought maybe I would need it for outside the car to lay down in the heat under trees when it's midday. But I know I'm like, I got fans now. I can tolerate the heat a little bit better. So this thing, May not be so necessary and it was offering some relief when I was laying down on it inside the car but uh, now that I've discovered stick walking I got this before stick walking I find I'm able to correct my back the strength and balances and all of that so uh, this doesn't feel as needed and I haven't been using it so I want to dump it. This is a good buy. $50 down the drain. All right, since it's a little more relaxed out here, I can take my time cooking. And what I'm doing is something I really haven't done before, is I let it steep. Now I've already done it with this. I brought it to a boil and then let it sit for a few minutes right on here. I actually uh, I pushed it down because uh, the vegetation gets really soft after you cook it so it was pushed to the, the very top you cook it and then you can push it down <laughs> it gets so soft the fibers loosen up but not enough to eat I don't dare eat it just drink the liquid drink your vegetables 
let it steep for a few minutes turn off the flame let it steep I, mean, I did it once poured that liquid into here and I'll do it again with this and then it'll be ready to to cook up my oats with the dark cook up oats with the dark liquid the reason I, I'm using the steeping technique is something I learned about making coffee you like you boil the water pour it into the french press with the coffee beans and just let it steep for a few minutes before drink before pouring it into a coffee cup all right just gonna take a peek at the museum it's closed on a sunday memorial day this is kind of interesting artwork. They make all kinds of creative projects for the, the veterans, parks. And then there's a museum up ahead. Might be some displays. Murray County Law Enforcement Center. I saw a police station somewhere else. There's a sign in front of the log cabin. This is some old hall from early 1900s. And this next to the museum is a fairground. There's a lot of cars here, I don't know why. Nineteen sixteen, nineteen twelve. There's a lot of cars all around. I'm not hearing any cheering. They likely have to be in this building. Might be a church. Gym and track. Warren Sun Cabin, 1872. What a life. So I'm out here just picking grass, cleavers. Uh, also, let me mention too that I'm experimenting with these flowers. I chewed on one. I don't know. It's didn't get me sick right away. So I put a few flowers in the pot. It doesn't pick in this. Okay, there's a spider there. I picked uh, this this thing. Just this just this tip was sticking out. I stepped on it, and I was like, "What the heck?" And I pulled out this large deer handle, deer antler, just sitting in the grass. It's pretty sturdy. I can't use it for anything, but it's kind of interesting. Pretty good, pretty good variety in this field. <clears throat> you got alfalfa, dandelion, grass, some burdock. And the thistle, uh, the weed thistle, um, and then uh, there's got to be others. I don't know. I got, and then I'll just say the variety is good in the forest too. That's where I got my cleavers. So good variety all around. <clears throat> I'm kind of tempted to cut down on oak. A little oak sapling yeah there's a there's three right next to each other right in here 
it's quite a it's got quite a curve how hard are these to cut like this this would be well it's too curved actually curves off there's quite a few of these saplings so close together though like over here practically growing on top of each other this would be an interesting one good height oh it's dead wait a second I don't know it might not be strong enough it bends pretty good maybe this area should be called Nat Park instead of Gavin Park look at all these little gnats flying around I was just inspecting that oak tree that's dead and I'm getting assaulted by all kinds of bugs all right so I decided to start recording this horse camp now uh, I forget the name of the park something G Gulch Gulch Gullies well either way I got a comment to make about the horse trails this is a horse trail well-worn horse trail and every time I see a horse trail it just makes me think it lacks adventure it seems to just lack adventure because it's just so worn in and common he's just yeah if i wanted to ride a horse i'd want to go anywhere i wanted like bicycling but you can't you're you're very extremely limited for the places you can go you got to drive your horse to the the spots which is far away or something just seems to lack any adventure to me so walmart denied me a tire flip because the side the one side is too worn they say that I, they'll I need to buy a new tire and it's perfectly fine. It's, it's too beat up or too worn to do the tire flip. That's their policy. I'm trying another a place. I checked out Sundance, but I gotta wait like three or four days. Uh, there's a tire place a little further down the road. I think I wanna check out Tires Plus. Let's see if maybe they can flip my tire see what kind of standards they have I might have to buy a new tire just simply because it's worn on one side that's really frustrating because it's perfectly fine on the other side but I can't flip it myself no So I have noticed that wormwood grows around here and there are prairie dogs of a smaller nature. They're smaller. Do they make that cute little whine sound when danger approaches? They're just smaller and darker. Can that be heard? There's a weird kind of swamp bird. It's got yellow feather instead of red. And it sounds so different. I didn't know there's two kinds of swamp birds. Oh, there's the red one. So there's a yellow and a red. I think they might be, the yellow might be grackle. This is the first time I've ever seen a natto in this type of container. I'll take it. Alright, so this thistle is taking over the edge of a cornfield and really seriously competing against it. Especially here. There's a whole row that's, that's just uh, not going to make it. 
And I certainly will be happy to pick this. Why don't I call it thistle, but it's it's also called something else that I just can't think of. Either way, it's it fills up the pot nice. You just need gloves. I have a really bad problem of overfilling the pots so that it can't whistle. It just starts shooting out water all over the place. And it's a matter of observing it. Uh, and I keep not observing it fast enough and spitting out water all over. All right, so I actually took the time to strip the outer bark off. And this is what I got from this. It was a double tree, so you want to take off one anyway. I think I'll leave the rest. The small twigs are kind of a pain. But I got quite a bit. This this will last a while. And I always I gotta make sure I always take the bark the outer bark off now. Alright, I'm thinking with this tire I did the right thing at Walmart and not ask them to come out and look at my tire before they did it. Just insist that they must do it and let them um, throw caution to the wind uh, whenever they feel it's necessary. And when they do, I won't debate it. If they say, nope, it's too worn, you need a new tire, I'll just be like, fine. But I am not going to take the initiative to ask them to look at it to see if they think it can be changed out because they're always going to say no. I think there's plenty of tread. And I did have this switched already, but it pumps across the street. They didn't even... See, I actually kind of had him look at it, and he was just like, whatever, we'll do it. But at Walmart, you don't want to ask them to check to see if it's okay uh, to do it, because they're always going to default to getting a new tire. I got some kind of escape hatch that looks broken, I think. Windows, uh, no, there's glass. Glass is pretty good on all of them. I don't know. It's hard to tell if it's abandoned or not. Concrete, it may not be actually. Well, this spot is the perfect spot, sort of, perfect for shade, but I'm at the scrutiny, I'm at, of, uh, I'm at the scrutiny of this youth center and apartments, but it's right jutted against the park, so I'm like, what do I do? It's very attractive for shade parking, but I don't know how bad it gets in the afternoon for youth. Just as I was recording, somebody took the spot. So now that's out. I don't know where to go. I think I'm gonna be exposed completely to the sun. All right, there's this network of uh, minimum maintained road around the park. I'm, look, I'm gonna look for any uh, like places that you could pull in to park. Cause I don't think I could just pull off to the side of the road. It looks, it looks like it's used quite a bit. All right, I can get shade for the afternoon at the bottom of this low maintenance road. Oh, the gnats are so awful. You just gotta keep moving. This is that part of the country where the gnats are really bad. It's a park for the Wildwood Nature Trails. After years of flooding, okay. Wow, keep moving, keep moving. This grass is very tall. You see, 
It's very tall.